Uh, Coach, uh, opening thoughts on the game. Well, wow, it's loud. Uh, disappointed, uh, obviously, when you've got a, a 6-2 lead uh, in there into the, the eighth and then uh, not able to hold it, uh, obviously, it's very disappointing. Um, on the positive side, um, once you lose the lead, uh, to be able to show the, you know, the fight to come back, uh, that our guy showed and then ultimately get the time and win a run in scoring position uh, in the last inning and I think shows you a lot uh, about the character of this team which is uh, something we put ourselves in position now we're going to have to exhibit that uh, the rest of the way but I thought you know as a fan it was a great college baseball game uh, as a coach it wasn't very much fun questions so coach you know early on you got some guys in you just could not get the hit to get a couple of runs in early, mm -hmm. you know, and left left a few guys on. Was it just a matter of trying to get guys comfortable, maybe? And um, I think that might have been. I, you know, that was one thing. I was really as the game was progressing, uh, we got a lot of big two out hits. Um, as they did too, and uh, it, and so you know, I don't know how many we left on. Let's see. Uh, I really didn't feel like we left. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't feel like we left just a ton of guys on, but you know, and just you know, we line out with the bases loaded, and, and that's just been us all year. I mean, we we, we squared up and it's right at guys, and so uh, you know, we're used to that and used to dealing with that. Um, but that, you know, and I thought we put together good at bats, and that's all we were asking. Yeah. Yeah, Steve, it's been you know, you've, you've been here before, so you know, I know that uh, you're comfortable. I'm guessing with the surroundings and everything, but uh, did you kind of flash back to a couple of years ago when you, uh, you were coming here? Well, yeah, I mean, that's been on my mind, but when I get out on the mound, I'm, I'm focused on the game I'm in, so it was uh, nice being back, though. I love the town, love the people here, and uh, it's been a pleasure. Yeah, but, uh, and you get yourself out of some jams early, and uh, it's just, you know, obviously it's playoff baseball, so you never really know what's going to happen, but did you feel like you were pretty much in command? Yeah, um, I, I was. I uh, felt like I really had my stuff today. Um, you know, runners are going to get on. That's something you got to deal with. But uh, I've always been comfortable in those situations, and um, I just I went out and gave it everything I had today. Paxton, in eighth inning, get the home run. Just what was the mindset whenever you guys lost the lead, and then you were able to come through right there and to tie it up, leading into the ninth inning? Oh, uh, uh, I mean, we got two quick outs, and I mean, I was looking for something to drive and. I swung over the first pitch and I had a feeling he was going to do the same thing and he left a little up and put a good swing on it. Coach, kind of a silver lining as well as your 7, 8, 9 were nightmares <laughs> uh, for, for Pueblo today. I mean, how important will it be, you know, if you guys would like, you know, to keep, you know, your playoff season alive? to see that then continually turn the lineup over. Yeah, well, I mean, you, you know, you get into the playoffs and then, uh, especially this type of tournament, the deeper you get, um, generally offense determines it more in pitching because everybody gets a little thinner um, as you go. So you need production throughout the lineup. And, uh, you know, we really, we got that today. And so uh, that was really good. I was really proud of our offense. Um, you know, um, we just, it did something we, we haven't done, you know. I think uh, I think we were undefeated when uh, we've out hit the opponent. So that's the first time that's happened, and then I think that's the first time we've we've lost a game we've we've led going into the eighth too. So uh, you know, something those guys didn't didn't have it today, and uh, they'll have it tomorrow. Yeah. So as as far as Brown and and um, Thank Becker her. go, yeah. is that kind of what the message is? Is like you, you know you guys have been outstanding all seasons. Yeah. Well, I mean, Grayland's second in the country in saves. Uh, Becker's been automatic for us. Um, just didn't have it today, and and for whatever reason, I mean that's the way it is. But uh, we feel like we got the pitching to come back. We need to go win tomorrow against whoever we play, and then uh, we'll take it from there. All right, thank you, Coach. Thanks.